to its studio is full of every kind of console and computer there is. But have you ever wondered what's inside those little plastic boxes? Can I do it now, Violet? Yes, now, Andy! Right, yeah! Don't do that at home. I've heard it invalidates the guarantee. So, what's inside the plastic boxes? Well, you won't be surprised to learn that it's lots and lots of computer chips. I'll give you a quick guided tour of the Mega Drive. This one here is the one that actually runs your game. Over here, we've got the sound department. And this little square one here is really clever. This is your sophisticated graphics chip. This is the one that provides graphics the like of which you see in, say, Legend of Galahad. Now, look at this. In the background, the background is moving so smoothly because the graphics chip is concentrating on the background, leaving the main games chip to concentrate on running your game. That's how these things work. This is the inside of a SNES. I mean, most of these systems look much the same inside. That one there is the graphics chip in a SNES, and it's that little chip that makes games like F-Zero have that rather unique arcade quality about them. And this is what the inside of a cart looks like. It can have up to four chips. This one stores the game program, these two of the memory, and that's the battery that powers the memory when the machine's turned off. But this is the really interesting one. Only the manufacturers really know how it works, but it matches up with a similar chip inside the machine. And without it, the game just won't run. Now, the manufacturers put these protection chips, as they call them, inside their cartridges to prevent other software companies from knocking up games, running them on your systems, and not paying them a royalty. But there is a way around it. This is called a plug-through. Now, what a plug-through essentially is, is a game in here, but without the protection chip. So to run it on your system, where does the protection chip come from? One of your normal games. Plug it in thus, and the plug-through is wired to cut out the game from this cartridge, but wired to accept the protection chip. So when you plug the whole of this into your system, the game runs. Plug-through games will cost you about £10 less than normal ones because there's no protection chip. But beware, they're not approved by the console manufacturers. So if you use one and it damages your machine, it's not covered by the guarantee. Uh, nor is it if you hit it with a mallet, by the way.